I'd like to take a few moments and go over the LPIC 101 exam and some of the things that you should be familiar with before moving towards certification through LPIC. We're going to cover the exam information, just some basic facts that you should know, as well as the exam objectives per LPIC. Always remember that exams are never set in stone. So you should always check LPI.org before you commit to any exams. So make sure that you go in and verify the objectives that they have set currently because this information can change at any time. Although most certification vendors tend to change their exams on a pretty good structure. So if you go out and you sign up for the current exam, it shouldn't change before you get the opportunity to take the test. But just make sure that you have your facts right before you move toward certification. Currently, the exam has a 90-minute time limit with 52 questions. So you're going to get just under two minutes per question, meaning that you're not going to have a lot of time to think through things. You need to have your facts ready and know your material cold. They do a relative score range of 200 to 800 with a passing score of 490. And right now, it's going to cost you $100 to sign up for the LPI 101. Now, the exam objectives per listed on their website from a very high level are hardware and architecture, having the ability to do package management for both Debian and Red Hat, and understanding Unix commands in general. So you're going to want to know your available switches, your different variables for those commands. And we'll also talk about, and you'll be tested on, the devices, file systems, and the overall FHS standard. And finally, you'll be tested on the configuration of the X window subsystem. So you want to be familiar with all of these things. Now, in addition, there are some helpful hints that I can give you to prepare the day of and the day before the exam. Now, first of all, don't over-prepare. You can actually overstudy for exams. So you shouldn't wait until the day before to cram all your information. You should study at a steady pace over several weeks or months prior to the examination date. You should make sure to schedule your exam usually mid-morning because you're always going to be at your sharpest before lunch. So make sure you eat a good breakfast, get up with plenty of hours to spare, and get to the examination location at least 30 minutes to 45 minutes early. Sit down and have a list of things that you know are your weak points so that you can review that information just before going into the test room. It might even be helpful if you need to remember a long list of items to try to read that list just before going into test. That way you can immediately write them down on the right card that they give you. So follow these objectives, make sure you stay on your feet, and definitely know your material, and you'll do fine on the LPIC 101 exam.